Welcome back to Tashkid FX for another Lunar Prize prediction update. And in this video, I'll be giving you the latest developments that have been happening here on the Lunar chart. And before I kickstart the video, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and also check out the channel membership. And allow me to kickstart the video here on the 4 hour chart by first giving you a recap of what has been happening, where you can see that Lunar from these low prices that we had been trading within, we saw a very nice bounce to the upside, obeying the ADO 12 structures. In this idea to structure right here in blue having the wave 5 making a peak at around the 0.00059 dollar mark and also completing the formation of that higher end to have count one to the upside and after seeing the all-time high we started the bear market where we have been seeing no prices in this abc corrective structure which has now taken us back to around the 0.00011 dollar mark in what i'm terming is a higher end to have count two to the lower side and after seeing the formation of a higher end to have count two whatever we expect next on the long term scenarios is a bounce to the upside in the formation of a higher edu 12 country and that is what i'm expecting to play out here on the lunar chart on the long term scenarios and before i sketch out a minimum target area to the upside in the formation of this wave 3 i want to get to the short term scenarios that i'm expecting to play out here on the lunar chart and you can see that down here this is where we made our low in the formation of that higher edu 12 count 2 after seeing that massive abc corrective structure and after seeing that abc corrective structure whatever we expect next is a bounce to the upside in the formation of that higher edu 12 country which is an impulsive wave and because of its impulsive nature we also expect to see fractal waves in formation within that higher edu 12 country and i believe we are seeing such a structure right here having this as the first wave to the upside then a wave two then i'm expecting a wave three of this edu 12 structure right here in yellow before we see a wave four and then a wave five to complete a higher edu 12 count one to the upside which is a fractal wave within the formation of that higher edu 12 country and because a wave three to the upside is an impulsive wave we also expect to see other waves in formation within this higher edu 12 country and sketching a minimum target area to the upside in the formation of this wave 3 right here in yellow i can use the trend based fibonacci connecting it from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave one then dragging the fibs to the low of the second wave and that gives me a minimum target area at the FIB level 1.618 which perfectly lies at around the 0.00024 dollar mark and that is the minimum that I would expect this wave 3 to the upside to do before we see a wave 4 and then a wave 5 fully maximizing the formation of that higher edu 12 count 1 and getting into the details of the formation of this wave 3 which I have said is an impulsive wave and I expect to see other fractal waves in formation within that higher edu 12 count 3 where we are seeing such a structure having these edu 12 structure right here in red as a fractal wave within the formation of this wave 3 where we have seen that wave 1 then a wave 2 after seeing this abc corrective structure right here and i believe we are now in the formation of this wave 3 which is still an impulsive wave and we also expect to see another five wave structure in formation to fully maximize the formation of this wave 3 and i believe that move has, has started to play out because we are seeing that as the first wave then a wave 2 before we see a wave 3 then a wave 4 and then a wave 5 fully maximizing the formation of this wave 3 so that is what i'm expecting to play out here on the short-term scenarios and to give you a better analysis basically we're in the formation of this wave 3 that is all that you need to know and to also give you some chart pattern that is in formation right here that could give us a breakout very soon to the upper side which is a channel and if i draw it out i can first connect these uh, lows right here like that then also connect the upper side of the channel and you can see we have this ascending channel which has been well obeyed giving us more than three touch points and there are chances that in case we manage to break above the 20 day ma here on the four hour chart Lunak might find support that we need for us to continue pushing even higher and see a breakout out of this channel to the upper side and this is not just a channel because this is an ABCDE channel where we can have this as the wave A then a wave B then a wave C then a wave D then I'm expecting a low in the formation of this wave E which might be in because we expect the wave E low to be above the wave C low that means and that is what we have here on the charts meaning there are chances that this is a complete ABCDE channel and very soon this could give us a breakout to the opposite side of this wave E and that means a breakout to the upper side of the channel and that could continue pushing the price of Lunak even higher in the formation of that higher edu 12 country so that is what I'm expecting 
sitting here on the short term scenarios and getting back to the long term scenarios and sketch out a minimum target area to the upside in the formation of these higher edge of wave count 3 by connecting the trend base Fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1 then dragging the Fibs to the low of the second wave that gives me a minimum target area to the upside in the formation of that wave 3 at the fib level 1.618 which perfectly lies at around the 0 0.01 dollar mark and that is the minimum that I would expect that with 3 to the upside to do and once it plays out then Luna could be losing 1-0 so let's be patient and see how that plays out and I'll keep you updated.